Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters and friends. I hope everyone is fine with the blessing of Almighty Allah. So without any delay, let's start today's video. Let's, let's talk Solomon. about the section that was cut out in the Dead Sea Scrolls. It's like 4, 7 to 6, 11. Because this is like, this is the sexually explicit part. This is where the intercourse is happening. Mm -hmm. um, I apologize to my mother for things I might say here. I'm going to try to use uh, other language and not be so explicit. But I mean, if you go to like Song of Solomon, uh, starting in chapter four, this is this is where things start getting mm. um, interesting. Like, you, she, he, Solomon is describing his bride here at sort of at the end. So if you you go to like verse like uh, ten, how beautiful you are, my love, my sister, my bride. How much better your love is than wine, the fragrance mm. of your oils, and the spice, your lips. Drip with nectar. I feel like Barry White should be playing somewhere. My honey and milk oh, under your tongue. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> the fragrance of your gar of your garments is like the fragrance of Lebanon. Verse twelve is interesting. Your garden is locked. The, this, the bride's garden is locked. It's a spring, uh, so it's associated with water. Uh, then it says your shoots are mm -hmm. an orchard of pomegranates. Now Tremper Longman wrote a commentary on Song of Solomon. It says these refer to like things like sort of like extending out. He suggests it might refer to just the carpet area, I guess you could say, if I could say that in the cleanest way possible. Uh, and, and also because of what follows after it says, your shoots, the carpet area, is an orchard of pomegranates with the choicest fruits. Uh, and then he, so we, we know that it's an area that is associated with water, mm. wet. It's a garden. It has shoots. And if you go down to verse 16, uh, he says, blow, he talks about the wind, the north wind, the south wind, blow upon my garden. Let its spices flow. He kind of wants to get a... Uh, a whiff of something it sounds like mm. based on that let's let's look at what we've read up to this point uh solomon is having sex with his bride he goes down on her they have intercourse he leaves she's looking for him and she comes to the mm, of Jerusalem. who is she describing and the answer is no i do not consider the bible to be the word of god the present bible it is a mixture it contains the word of God, mm -hmm. it contains the word of the prophet, it contains the word of historians, and I'm sorry to say it even contains pornography. Mm, right. The present Bible is not the word of God. What we believe is in the Injil. Injil is the wahi which was revealed to Isa alayhi salam. The wahi, the revelation given to Isa alayhi salam, we believe in it. Mm -hmm. But the present Bible is a mixture. It may contain the word of God, it contains the word of prophet, it contains the word of historians, it even contains pornography. Mm. There are many there are many contradictions in the Bible, there are many unscientific things in the Bible. I cannot attribute all these things to Almighty God. Yes, there are certain portions in the Quran, in the Bible, which matches the Quran. Mm. I have no objection accepting this part to be the word of God. Maybe. But the full Bible, in no way, there are many contradictions, there are many obscenities, mm. there are many mistakes in the Bible. I cannot attribute all these things to Almighty God. Regarding the second part of the question, mm. that because Bible came early and Quran came after the Bible, so can it not be that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, edited from the Quran and then, he, sorry, he edited from the Bible, he copied from the Quran, he, he edited from the Bible, he copied mm. from the Bible and then made the Quran and the answer is no. Yes, there is a possibility that if someone comes later, he can change yeah. it, possibility, but is that what happened? The answer is no. The answer is that if you say hypothetically brother and sister if you are enjoying today's video then it's a request to you guys please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so whenever a new video will be published you will get its notification first so let's continue watching today's video that bible was there and prophet muhammad peace be upon him edited the bible hmm. i told you early there are many mistakes in the Quran. Yeah. Uh, sorry, there are many mistakes in the Bible. There are many unscientific mm. things mentioned in the Bible. The Bible says that the universe was created in 624 days. Mm. It's totally wrong. The, the, the Bible says that first Almighty God created the vegetables on the third day, the vegetation, the vegetable kingdom, and he created the sun on the fourth day. Mm. How can the vegetables be present before the sun? It's illogical. Yeah. So there are many umpteen number of scientific errors. You cannot attribute all this to Almighty mm. God. Now you're saying, can it not be possible that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came and he edited all the corrected all these things? Impossible. The things that are mentioned in the Bible when and 14 years back when Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, came, all these scientific facts were not known. Mm. So imagine Prophet 
Muhammad took the Bible and he corrected all the mistakes and he saw to it, he, he corrected the scientific error. That's impossible. At that time, science wasn't advanced. How could he do it? What has happened? What we can say? Yes, yeah. both Quran and the Bible have a common source. That is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Bible has been changed due to passage of time. Mm. As per the Christian scholars, even the scholars of the Bible. So both have a common source. That is Almighty God. Yeah. Both speak about Tawheed. But there were many factors because of passage of time, there were changes made. Mm. There are unscientific things in the Bible which cannot attribute to the Quran, which cannot be attributed to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Quran was revealed later. Quran was revealed 14 years ago. And since it was the last and final revelation, mm. which was revealed to the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Yes, Allah sure. says in the Quran in Surah Hijr, chapter 15, verse number 9, that we have revealed the Quran and we shall guard it from corruption. Since it is the last and final revelation and there is no other mm. revelation going to come, Allah takes it upon himself. Almighty God takes it upon himself and he says that he will protect this Quran from any corruption. Mm. So the Quran that we have today is the verbatim, the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is no manipulation, mm. there is no interpolation, right. there is no concoction. It is 100% the word of God. So to say that it has been copied from the Bible is totally wrong because the source is common. Mm. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to all the messengers talked about Tawheed. The Tawheed is there in the Bible, it is there also in the Quran, yeah. there are many things, similarities. But surely it was not copied. It's practically impossible that there are hundreds and thousands of errors and all these errors were corrected by human beings. It's not possible. In fact, a new revelation was revealed by Almighty God and the last and final revelation that is the glorious Quran. And Allah says that we replace the old mm. revelation with something similar or something better. Allah says in Surah Baqarah chapter 2 verse 106 verse 109. So what we have to realize, the Quran is the last and final revelation of Allah subhanahu yes. wa ta'ala, which was revealed to the last and final messenger the Prophet Muhammad. Mm. As far as the third part of the question is concerned, how does the Quran have account of Jesus, even though the collaboration of this account can't be authenticated, since he was totally believed mm. to be true? What the Quran mentions about Isa is 100% perfect, even historically, yeah. whatever the Quran says, today if you go back to history, it is perfectly correct. There's nothing wrong about it. In fact, what is mentioned in the Bible, that is wrong. Mm. There are many mistakes in the Bible. And what the Christians say, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was born on the 25th of December. There is no historical record, mm. there is no historical proof. It is the birthday of the pagan god or sun god, mm. and which the Christian missionary, to make it easy, started claiming. What the Quran claims about Isa alayhi salam, all the historical facts, and can be, yes, he was a Jew. Mm. No problem. He was the messenger of God, and whatever is mentioned, can be historical, be proved. So the Quran is the word of God, but yes. not the Bible. Everything what the Bible says about Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, cannot be substantiated mm. historically. But whatever is mentioned in the Quran about Isa alayhi salam can be substantiated, and it's a fact because Quran is the last and final revelation yes. of Allah Taala, no which was revealed to the last and final messenger Prophet Muhammad. Yes. Brother and sister, I hope you have watched today's video, and I hope you like the answers of Dr. Zatar Naik. With us, Dr. Satir Naik always gave answers according to Quran and Hadith. And I hope you have watched his video till end. So in the first part of today's video, we have watched a video of podcast in which you can see that two Christians were sitting and they were talking about the book of Bible. One of them was saying that Bible is very embarrassing. Because when you read Bible, you realize that Bible is always talking about sex and nudity. And that's why it is very embarrassing to read. You can see in the video, he also point out some points in which he was talking about that this is written in the Bible. So that's why that Christian thought that Bible is not the right book. And after that, he also said that I'm not going to read this book again. So what do you think guys about it? Please let us know by giving your comments below. And after that, we have watched the video of Dr. Zakir Naik, in which Dr. Zakir Naik told us, and a question was asked to him, is the Bible, book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, or the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Then in the reply, Dr. Zakir Naik said that it was the words of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, but not any more. Now, Bible is not the book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the word of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because Bible is tempered, many Christians added their own verses in the Holy Bible. So that's why we are so that's why we cannot confirm these are the verses sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
so these are the main reasons in today's that we consider bible is not 100 percent pure so guys what do you think about dr zatir night video please let us know by giving your comments below if you are satisfied with the answers of dr zatir night then it's a request to you guys please share this video with your friend and family member so they can get benefit from it and other request Please subscribe my channel and press the bell icon. So whenever a new video will be published, you will get its notification first. So see you guys in next video. Till then, Allah Hafiz.